Hello everybody, welcome to Hollywood Sports, the most realistic sports channel on YouTube. And guys, we're going back with some NBA 2K14, and I want you guys to experience the point of Hollywood Sports in these videos is so you can experience, have an NBA basketball experience. I want you guys to have an NBA basketball experience, and I try to do that with all my videos. You know, my Timberwolves is on a win streak right now. We, we we finally made it into the playoff seed, but you know, we still got another, we still got a little ways to go in the season. Uh, we're in the seventh seed right now. We just got to maintain our playoff uh, uh, statue right now. Use that experience to make sure that they grow from it. Well, you always want to be getting better, Clark. So I like what you're talking All right, Timberwolves, about. let's get some D going. You know, I am, if you haven't seen my videos before, I am the general manager for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And I'm just sitting here in my office. I'm looking at the action. The 76ers in Philadelphia. Tell you what, the way they shot the ball that game, Kevin, it looked like a shoot around out there. <laughs> it sure did, and all the more impressive because good they pick, did it on the pick. Give me another one, give me another one. Oh, they came by the pick. There you go. Oh, oh, oh. No, not Pekovich. Not Pekovich starting us out. Go ahead, Pekovich. Ooh. Glad we didn't foul him on that shot. Suns on defense, outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to Chicago. They had major problems at the same play, right. same play. Just trying to give me a good pick. Just could not make free throws. Oh, no, it's not yeah, working. It's frustrating to watch, especially on the road where your opportunities at the line. Download a pick of it, love. Take and pack, take and pack. Good left hand. Good left hand, pack. Bringing up the back end of the conference. It's not a matchup the top teams are well, going to pay much attention well, we get no Pekovich back right now, it looks like. He's hitting all the points. He's getting us off to a, to a good start, and that's what we need. We need, always need a good start. That's a great point. The Timberwolves shooting their first free throw of the game right now. Oh, yeah, and he's hitting the free throws. Well, quite honestly, guys, he was one of the biggest surprises of the 2011-12 season. Pekovich, I mean... He continued to show that he's a fantastic option at the center spot with another solid season. I mean, he's a big physical present and finish inside. Good D. Aggressive on defense and on the board. Oh, the big man trying to shoot. Oh, big man hit that shot. The entire defense was frozen footed. Nobody picked up the shooter, Kevin. And Minnesota has possession. I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Well, I had a chance to catch up with head coach Jeff Hornacek. We pride ourselves on exec really executing the offensive out. plays he's and defense. Player like Kevin Love, saying he's a take him, take him, Love. Take him. He can't handle it. Take him. There you go. Don't worry about him. Take him. Never leave him open. No open shots. Get a body on him the second a shot goes up. He knows it's easier said than done. But, guys, that's the game plan. And thank you for that, Doris. Here's Green. Following the basket by Kevin Love. Gorchot with the screen for Brown. Good D, guys. Good D. Stay with him, Peck. Stay with him, Peck. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with the Oh, Peck. I think they're working on you down low, Peck. Going back to Pekovich or Peck. I you think they're picking on you, Peck. As his teammates call him, too, another productive <clears> season. He did struggle with some injuries. Just about 20 games. But he is, he is a man. <laughs> hey, Peck is a grown Gortat is his name. Player. He's trying to get hot on us. A pretty remarkable second round pick. Big man against big man getting us started. To be excited about finding their starting okay. set of the future. Marcus Morris has checked in for Phoenix. Love outside. Outside, Mark. Just take him. Just take him, Pekovic. Pekovic has got some. Don't stand there. Just take him. Aggressive play right there. He saw the smaller man on him. Took it straight. Come on, Pekovic. Stay with Gortat now. Here we go. He's the go-to man right now. They kick it out to Green. 
Rubio against Bledsoe. Six They're trying to clump everything up here. Misses off the left iron. Minnesota in the lead. Slow it up, bud. Slow it up, bud. Go ahead, take it, bud. Take it, bud. Take it. That's all right. Oh, man. Pekovic, you had the rebound, baby. But Steve, they'll take that play all day long, 10 times out of 10. That was good action. Now, here's Bledsoe. Fires Stay with him. 18. Good D by Rubio. For Minnesota, they've gone good D, Rubio. The field so far. Let him get the ball. To Rubio. 27 seconds left in the first quarter. That's Martin shot. There it is. There it is. There it is. Ooh. With the rebound. Martin usually hit that shot on that play. Stay with him, bud. Stay with him, bud. Oh, man, Gortat. He just he, he just trying to get nasty right now. Oh, man, we just not shooting. The, we're not shooting the ball good this first quarter. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. Gorta trying to take the game over. Thursday, January 9th. Kevin. It's 9 to 9. Look like it's a tough game right now. We're doing okay. We're just not hitting our shots right now. I would like to see what our percentage is right here for the first quarter. All right, Shev. Come on, baby. Our backup point guard, Shev, is in the game. Oh, we got Terry out in. All important contributors. Oh man, we got a lot of bench guys in right now. Oh yeah. Good shot, bro. And it's Williams at the power forward position. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Timberwolves. Here's Tucker after the made shot from Brewer. Stay with him. Stay with him, Terry. Off. Oh yes, the turnaround. Good D. That's all right. Good D. He's got his first points of the night. And Clark, a lot of European players used to this cold weather. Maybe that's why the Timberwolves need to go after him. <laughs> well, maybe that's part of it. You go with the ball, Williams. Watch it now. Good luck with the international. Where they set that pick? Where they take it, Williams? Woo! And the foul. And the foul. Williams coming in trying to make something happen. Look at him. Woo hoo! That's what I'm talking about. Out of Arizona. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Minnesota? You know what, guys? It looks to me like they're really in sync here, all on the same page. They've already got a bunch of assists. And they're also showing some muscle. Bingo. All right. Way to hit that free throw. In the paint area. Our team well, is you know, becoming a good free throw, throw shooting team Sun, also. 14-year career as an NBA shooting guard, and he was terrific as a player. Spent his first six in Phoenix. Watch those picks. Only recently really got into coaching, starting as an assistant with the Jazz in early 2011. Now, here's Frost. Stay on Terry. I'll cut the baseline off. Down to five on the shot clock. Fry dishes to Tucker. Wide open. Man, that was some serious ball movement by Phoenix. Down to just one. Woo. The basket from Morris. Just they were determined to get that best. Here in the second. And back to Coach Hornacek. The 16th. Watch that reach of ref. He's reaching. He's raised his three kids in Phoenix. Run that offense, baby. He's put down roots there. Looks like he would like to stay for the long term. Well, he was a tremendous player for the Suns back uh, during the prime of his career. So this is a great fit. Good shot. Good shot. Where'd he go, Shad? Where'd he bang it? Should serve him well. Don't be scared to shoot it. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And Shabazz Muhammad, a 6'6 small forward, played just one season at UCLA. Here's a guy who was talked about as a big is trying to call that timeout, trying to regroup. Pick in the draft, but his stock fell during his one season at UCLA for various reasons, but still a, a guy with a lot of potential to be an excellent player in the NBA. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Yes, Kevin. Well, Rick Adelman had some advice for his team over that last break. He told them man up, that man up. To offensive rebounding needs to be much stronger. He said transition defense should well, that was a nice move. Should be getting to the and, and nobody touch him. He's he, he falling on the floor. Rep. 
movement on the perimeter and plays being run to get their outside shooting. Look at that, he flopping. Well, coach, now Nobody touch him. Time and tweaking the game plan. Come on, ref. It makes a difference as we approach halftime, Kevin. All right, Doris, thank you very much. Cunningham, he's checked in for Muhammad. And that one misses. Oh, get the ball, somebody. His father played collegiately at USC, and even before he had children, he had planned to help them become professional athletes. Come on, guys, wake he's up. Muhammad's development all along, enrolling Shabazz in the best basketball schools and creating the summer circuit team to highlight Muhammad's strengths. Here's Brewer after the made shot for Morris. Unloads from 13. Cunningham. All right. Cunningham Good shot, Cunningham. Points of the game. We got a nice bench rotation going right now. Coach Alleman is ro rotating these guys in pretty good. Say with him, Johnson. And Tucker kicks to Morris outside Dragic. Man up. That's what I'm talking about. Good D. Stay with him, Brewer. I mean, Shad. Oh, that was a nice drive with the left hand. Dragic, man, this dude can play. I think I thought he should have made the All-Star team in real life, man. Dragic, he's a good guard. Now here's Brewer. Outside Williams. Oh, Williams. That's all right, baby. I thought you had that mid-range there. That's as high percentage as it gets. I'm not sure how that didn't go down. Here's we look confused on defense. That one off the back iron and out. Now that's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. Shved dishes to Cunningham. And Shved kicks to Williams. Can't get a post down low. To the middle. Oh, good pass. And the basket by Brewer. Good pass, Williams. This Boy, such Williams with the assisted Brewer. Decision making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are piling up the assists. Up top, Frogich. Frogich pushing off, ref. Come on. He pushed with the left hand and shot it with the right. He just pushed Brewer right out of the way. Man, these refs are not calling this game. Well, Goran, how do you rate the team's performance thus far, and what are you expecting in the second half? I mean, you know, we are battling, uh, we as a team, and if we're going to play like that, um, I think so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be okay. Goran, thanks for the time. Got to love it when they battle, guys. Thank you so much, Doris. Great interview as always. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back with the second half of basketball shortly. Now, presented by Sprint. Hello everyone. I'm Damon Bruce. Dragons with seven points. We're shooting really 69%. That's okay. That's pretty good. Even though Phoenix is shooting 71. Indicative of their unselfish play, spreading that ball around. Certainly an impressive start by Nikola Pekovic. His field goal percentage through Nikola the roof Pekovic. recently, and he is on fire again tonight. Good pass by Rubio right there. And Pekovic, man, he started out hot. Also a strong start. We might have to go down They've low to him. Their way inside. A huge lead Look at Gortat, man. The paint, making it very hard to defend against. Big man. Marching Gortat playing that nice jump. So far. And Goran Dragic has also been getting it going for them. We'll get things going with a look at teams playing later tonight. Mavericks got a horrible record. Spurs playing pretty good, though. Off against the Mavericks. Game gets going at 6 p.m. Eastern. And one game also on the docket for the Magic. They'll be Magic. against the Trailblazers in Trailblazers. Portland. Start time, 7 o'clock Eastern. And a look here at the I think we got a chance NBA to grain some brown in the West. These West teams the aren't doing too hot. Houston. Some Western That's all the East right there. One. It's an 8.30 Eastern time for a tip-off out there. Warriors against there the Nets. Celtics so against the Clippers. I like to see the Clippers now lose. Lakers and the Rockets. The Seem like a good game. But I think we can climb back in this, this race. We can try to get a fifth, fifth, a fourth or fifth seed in the Western Conference. I think we'll be pretty in pretty good shape. Without question, Nikola Pekovic displaying his skills today. Well, he created a lot of opportunities for himself in the first couple of quarters, and 
Tell you what, he, he was smart with his shot making too. He really took good ones. You know, points per shot attempted is really one of the undervalued stats. Come on, Martin, you gotta hit it this time, baby. Hit it. Measurement of efficient scoring. There you go. That's your play, baby. You know, you, that, that's your play right there. Bledsoe is out there with Brown, and it's Green in at the three slot. You know, it's no secret around the league. Oh, that back door. Oh. The best medical staffs in the game. Come on, Martin. You let him sneak around on you. Look at that. He was he snuck right in the back door on you. He tried to kill it, too, when he dunked. Well-worn tires. The Timberwolves shooting 71% all in all in this one. They've been brilliant offensively. Rubio gets a screen from Pekovic. Here's Buttinger. Good shot, Bud. That was a good play right there. Good offensive play. Should rewind that one. Steve, I don't know. You've been in that organization. Whatever they are doing. Stay with him, Bud. Stay with him, Bud. Watch that moving pick, Ralph. Well, it's a tremendous training staff. They've just always done a very good job of keeping their guys healthy by getting them in the training room every day for work, by combining the, the strength program with the training schedule. Uh, but a lot of confidence in that staff from the players, and I think it really shows. The Suns making a change here. Morris is checked. Again. And what so? Stay with him, Rubio. Hit his foot. Good D. Saying it was kicked. How many times is he gonna call kickball? Come on, ref. Those are good steals. Get back, love. Bledsoe right side, six on the shot clock, no one covering. Bledsoe's got it all tied up now for the Suns. So Ralph, you got to call these moving picks these guys are doing. The teams live and die by the three. Let's check out the best. In the third spot, the Timberwolves. That's been an amazing season for them. Wow, we're in the third spot, the leaders and leaders in three-point three field goal percentage. That's a good stat. All right. Let's get this crowd going. Possession. They'll be at home for the next game against the Bobcats. That'll be the latter half of this two-game homestand. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Yes, Kevin, during that last break, I heard Rick Adelman as he addressed his team. Improving their inside. Take them pick. Take them pick. Watch the double team. Oh, good. Good turnaround on the left side. I mean, on the right side with the left hand. Good move, Pekovic. He also told them to get tough. He said, let's make this one a very physical game. Those are likely not the last adjustments they make today, guys. There's still time left in this one. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. Morris kicks to Bloodsoe. Just five on the clock. Oh, good move. That was a beautiful move by Bledsoe. Rubio shooting 62%. He's first in the NBA. 2.8 assists a game. You can stand to get that up a little bit. I don't think we can overlook the fact that he's the top field goal percentage shooter in the league. I mean, lights out. That's really the only way to describe Rubio's the top three field goal percentage guy in the league. Another good stat. Buttinger, the pass to love. Oh, look at love. Look at love. That's on Marching Gortat. Told Gortat, get out of the way, man. You can't get up. He told Gortat, you can't get up. Good shot, love. He's checked in for Nikola Pekovic. The Timberwolves have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. And that one. Oh, we didn't get to have one. Guys, with the way Kevin Love has added to his game every season, you know, both with his three-point shooting and slimming down to become more mobile. What is Gortat doing? From here with this game. Come on, Ralph, you got to call some of that stuff. Player, come on, Rubio, come get the ball, man. He'll find something he can improve on. Now here's Buttinger. What did it take, Gortat, bud? What did it hang him, bud? Rubio's got his third assist on the night. Suns trail by six. 
Ruby already got his game assist. Good D. Stay with him. Stay with him. Oh, man. Gortat, man. This guy has missed, hasn't he? I, I don't want to let the monkey, but you, you do yoga as well, don't you? I do, and I'm leaner now and, and stronger than ever. You've never looked better. Thanks, Jeff. You've never looked better. Appreciate that. Here's Rubio. After the major shoot it, bud. Shoot it. Ooh. No luck. Oh, oh wait, battle wins for that rebound. Tight, but the rebounding battle is too. Stop ball. Extremely close on the board. Oh, Both man. Both have really put in a terrific effort down low. Yeah, very solid offensive execution out there. For Minnesota, they've gone five of six so far from the field in the second half. Tremendous efficiency. And Rubio kicks the putting. Good screen, good screen. Oh, good pass. Ooh, love, you should have dunked it, man. Oh, that could have been a good alley-oop, too. That was a nice play. They need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. No question. Pound it into the painted area and continue to put pressure on the Oh, field. man. And it feels uh, like as soon as Love came over to help out, he dumped it off the gore top for the layup. Feeding off each other's intensity. Man, this guy's playing some smart basketball right now. Ooh, that was close. Venice is playing some good basketball, man. Minnesota on top, up two. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. Tune in this Thursday. Thirty-one to thirty-three, Timberwolves. Right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. All right, who's the go-to? Who's the assist of the game? Oh, Williams. Williams the Brewer. Really changes the way you play offense. Diversifies. Yeah. Williams came in and made a little bit of noise. Big man you played with. He's coming back into the game. Australian. Yes. Big redhead. Good passer down on the low block. Number one pick by Minnesota Timberwolves. Rubio and Martin Manning the backcourt. Pekovic is out there with Derek Williams. And it's Muhammad in at the three. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Rogic against Martin. Shot clock at six. Here's Porzo. So the whistle blows on what the happened? Two free throws for the contest. What they call that a Rubio? All about effort. Oh man. Fly after these loose balls playing out. Man, we got to investigate these refs. An opportunity for a steal or a deflection. He's really something to watch. And here's another thing I've noticed. You know, sometimes at the defensive end, he'll come out of nowhere to make a play on the ball, blocking a shot. These refs need to be investigated. We're going to file a complaint with the commissioner. These refs are not calling this game right. Some of y'all out there pay the reps or what? Minnesota with the ball. Muhammad sets a pick for Rubio. Pass to Mark. Launches a three. That's it. Oh, good shot, Martin. Ooh, in and out. Good shot, Martin. That was a clutch shot. Clutch. Big time shot in the fourth quarter. Kicks it to Brown. Oh, good D. Kevin Love with the block. Bang it, Rubio. Bang it, baby. Bang it. Ooh. Ah. Stop ball. Stop ball. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We got to get back, guys. We got to get back. You think so? I mean, I was pretty good from two feet and in myself. That's a gimme. Minnesota calls timeout. He did not look too happy about some of the things he saw on the court. So I would expect some changes here. I think it's the right move, quite honestly. I mean, they just didn't look sharp or at their best out there. So some of you guys have been asking me to do some my team videos. You know, I don't. You know, I would probably. I'm gonna try. I think I might try it, but you know, in my team, you know, you got most guys. You got to score 40, 50, 60 points a game just to win. You know. If I do, it won't be on Hall of Fame because you have to score 50 points yourself just to win the game. All right, guys, we look lost on defense. Against the bucket. Well, they were sleeping on defense. The defense really didn't do its job. I mean, a little slow to react to the ball. Game. You watch most of my team videos, man. Guys have to score 50, 60, 70, 80 points a game just to win a game. 
and the defense can become vulnerable. So if I did a my team video, it wouldn't be on the uh, Hall of Fame. And Rubio kicks to Cunningham. Shot clock at six. And they're playing some good D. Right at the free throw line. And oh, good shot, three. Rubio. And the Timberwolves lead by one. What a display of offense we've seen. I think we're going to start going down low now. Close this game out. And it's begun to take its toll. Phoenix calls timeout. Green, he's checked in for Phoenix. <laughs> Good job, Williams. Outside Dragic. There's the feed to Brown. Gorge out with a screen on Martin. Cut the paint, cut the paint. Oh, good block. Ooh, good block, Vegovic. Good block. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, they're going to Gortat. Gortat gets it to go in on the assist by Brown. And where's the defense? I mean, this has been pathetic at both ends. Yeah, it has been pathetic defensively, but it's been exciting from an offensive standpoint. But if you like defense, then neither one of these teams deserves to win. Oh, nice pass. About time, ref, you call something for us. Good pass. Martin throwed a good pass down the low to Rubio. Cut into the basket. Not this fella, Steve. Not at this stage of the game. He was going to get to the rim no matter who was standing in the way. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Minnesota. Guys, the passing we've seen from them has been tremendous. Very unsafe. Oh, Rubio, you missed your last two free throws, baby. Come on. The, the mid-range shot has been something that's really worked well for them tonight. Wagic kicks to Gortat. Pass to Morris. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Stay with it, Martin. And it comes off the front of the rim. Run it, run it, Rubio. Have gone three or five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Somebody come out, somebody come out. 57 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Doubled by Gortat. Here's Pekovic. Sinks it. Good shot, Pekovic. Let it bang it. As much as they could have hoped for today. Phoenix calls timeout. They're trailing by three. Y'all playing big time, baby. Playing big time. And the Suns making a change here. Bledsoe's checked in. Come on, crowd. Make some noise. Dishes to Gortat. He hits Brown with the drive. Watch it, Pekovic. They don't call you for three seconds. Stay with Gortat. Here's Gortat. Oh! It falls. And that shot brings the. Now you should know they were going to Gortat, man. That is a massive shot. You know it is. Pekovic tried to stay on him, though. So they foul intentionally. That's only their second team foul? Oh no, we got we got a we had the free throw line. We in the bonus. We're in the bonus. Come on, Peck. I mean uh Rubio, make these free throws, man. There you go. There you go. There you go. Free throws are good, and it's a three-point game. That last free throw was critical. Their only choice now is to go for the three to tie. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game. Wudso sets the screen for Brown. Misses in close. And here we go with Kevin Martin. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. Well, you do what you have. We just to need to hit our free throws. Come on, Martin. Try to get the ball back. In this situation, clock management <clears throat> crucial. Kevin Martin. And the first yeah, ugly two free throw, two man. Come on, Martin. You got an F on that free throw. Come on now. And the 
There you go. Now you got an eight. by four. 11 seconds left to play here in the fourth. What's your take, guys? Well, they need to draw something up here. I think they'll go for a quick two. Uh, and if not, maybe break somebody free for <coughs> a long three-pointer. And they have to know they need to foul right after the shot goes in as well. Bledsoe kicks to Green. Misses the three. And he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't cap it on. And there's the intentional foul. No there you go, Rubio. Just knock down the free throws. That's all we ask. There you go. And that puts them up by five. So we get to put the nail in the coffin, baby. That's it. That is it. I'm deep. Not down. You get it. Now he's just showing off with range like that. That's what I call profiling. Incredible. <laughs> he's yeah, he's showing off and profiling, all right. Send him back home to Phoenix. Send him back home to Phoenix. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. What I try to do is bring you guys authentic, um, a good NBA basketball experience. Thanks for watching Hollywood Sports. And as always, until next time, everybody. Yes, I'm here with Kevin Love and Kevin, a very big effort to come away with this game. What does it mean to the resiliency of this team to pull out a win like this? Uh, we're just giving ourselves a chance to win. So, I mean, we're really just grinding it out as much as we possibly can, and we're getting better every day. So, we're happy we got this win. I got to give it all to my teammates and my coaches. Hard work pays off, Kevin. Great job. Guys, back to you. Doris, thank you. And for Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our great 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us as Jordan presents our player of the game, Ricky Rubio.